troops on the ground were waiting for this helicopter. The aircraft regularly brings supplies to these Nigerian and French soldiers. They're working together as part of Operation Almau, a special anti-jihadist force. They patrol the Tilaberi region, a regular target of jihadist attacks. The aim of the operation is to reassure the population living in the area with our presence and also to remove the threat from the area. Around 250 soldiers have been deployed by the French army for this mission, a joint mission initiated by the Nigerian army, says this soldier. Yes, it's crucial because they know the terrain very well. They have their own intelligence source. They know the terrain much better than we do. So we're inseparable and our collaboration works very well with them. The two armies want to show a united front against terrorism as the situation remains very tense on the ground, especially in the Nigerian region of Tilaberi on the borders with Mali and Burkina Faso. Here, both countries have lost control of the area. As a result, pressure is increasing on Niger's army and its partners. The best way to avoid a jihadist ambush is to capture informers. There are suspects. They have lookouts who inform them about our presence in the area. It's possible to capture them, but in case of force majeure, of contact, we have to neutralize them. On February 10th, an attack on Operation Almau forces killed at least 17 Nigerian soldiers in the Tilaberi region. Even though the Nigerian government continues to strengthen its ties with European countries such as Germany and Italy that support it in its fight against jihadists, public opinion is not unanimous. Falmata Taya is behind the anti-foreign military intervention movement M62 that organized a march in Niamey against France's presence at the end of 2022. Whether it's France or any other foreign force, they're not here in the interest of Niger. They're here for something else. If today we provide the Nigerian armed forces with the latest technology, I'm sure that wherever they go they can fight alone because they are warriors. Since 2021, at least 500 people have been killed in terrorist attacks in Niger. In the rural areas of the country, the most threatened by insecurity, the question of foreign military presence is a hot topic. <laughs> Following the French withdrawal from neighboring Burkina Faso at the request of the ruling junta, Niger could benefit from a redeployment of these troops. Should this come to fruition, discontent from Niger's opposition may continue to grow.